It's that time. It's game time, baby. That time. <laughs> time to kick off Sports Extra. Brought to you by Southside Lumber and Pizza Hut. Now, News 3 Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Hey again, the final week of the high school football regular season is here. Playoff sports still up for grabs, or playoff spots still up for grabs for several Southern Illinois teams. Three of those are out of the Black Diamond. Nine area teams are already safely into the playoffs. Four others entered week nine still alive for the postseason. Two of those met in McLeansboro tonight as the Foxes hosted Fairfield. The Mules could clinch a spot with a win. Hamilton County needed a win just to have a chance tomorrow night when the pairings come out. The playoffs starting a week early tonight in McLeansboro and the Mules. Cody Gravesu runs it in from seven yards out just minutes into the game. Then it's Rick McVeigh, McVeigh for Hamilton County. He's going to take it 25 yards. And then on the next play, he takes it in from 13 yards out, 7-6 Mules. But Fairfield comes right back. Cody Moore will come up with the 30-yard catch from Lucas Reaver. Then with less than a minute to go in the first half, that made it 14-6 Mules. Fairfield goes on to win it 36-22. The Mules clinch a playoff spot. Hamilton County is out. Cesar Valer, Waltonville, Woodlawn also needed a win tonight to become playoff eligible. Standing in the way, Johnston City. And the Indians would strike first in the first. Colton Johnson takes in for the score, 6-0 JC. A little later, it's Johnson again, this time from 25 yards out, the two-point conversion good. And the Indians led 14-0, but here come the Red Devils. Tyler Rock is gonna take it in from five yards out. The two-pointer good as well, and that cut it to 14-8. But more from the Indians and more from Johnson before the half. He scores for the third time. Johnson City led 22-8 at the half, and the Indians ruined the Red Devils' chances. 30-22, your final. The Pickneyville Panthers need to beat Bree Central tonight, or their season is over. We are in the first quarter, and this is at Colin Dasher for the Panthers. He takes it in. It is 7-0 Pickneyville. Then, early second quarter, Kevin Grayling. He takes it around left side. He gets in, tying the game at 7. The Panthers come out passing later in the second quarter. Ryan rushing, going deep to Brandon Harden. Great catch by Brandon Harden, but the drive stalls. Pinckneyville gets no points. We're still tied at seven. Now late second quarter, Kevin Jansen takes it one way, breaking tackles. This guy is on the move. Big time yardage and also a personal foul because of this tackle right here. So it is the Cougars. They would score later on the drive to take a 14-7 lead and they go on to win 29-21, putting an end to Pinckneyville's season. Heron and Marion are both already in the playoffs, but that doesn't make tonight's game any less interesting. The Tigers and Cats are two of the best in Southern Illinois. And here we go, our spotlight game of the week. Matt Brown sneaks it in for the Cats, and they go up seven to nothing. But Heron has a guy named Tommy Taylor. He's the touchdown machine, and here he shows why. Around the right side, down the sideline, 70 yards for the Speed Demon, and we are even at seven. We move to the second quarter. Tory Stotler, three yard touchdown. Marion up 14 7 at the half. In the third quarter, they add to it. Derek Borum, 76 yard touchdown. Marion up two scores, 21 to 7. But Tommy Taylor comes back, and there he goes again. Another long touchdown for Taylor. And Heron's within 21-14. Now, late in the game, it's still 21-14. Heron with a chance. Here's Ashley Hoyer with the postgame wrap. In the end, it all came down to one play. Two minutes on the clock, fourth and one for the Tigers' offense. But the Wildcats' defense stepped up and shut them down right here at the two-yard line. Biggest play of the year, you know. Uh, the Heron really had some momentum going. They were moving the ball on us, and our kids made a great stand down there. Uh, it was going to be, a, you know, one way or the other. It was right down the final inch, and uh, big stand for us. We drew the line, and we just came up big, and we weren't going to let them have it. We, we played with all our hearts, and we weren't going to let them have it. We've gotten better week to week, and finally we just decided to stand up and protect the home turf. It feels really good to be in like that, showing that South 7 is coming to the conference. For the second straight year, the Marion Wildcats beat the Heron Tigers by a score of 21 to 14. Both of these teams will find out their playoff pairings tomorrow 
Marion now has a chance for a home playoff berth. In Marion, Ashley Hoyer, News 3 Sports. Thank you, Ashley. We found another matchup of playoff teams in Carterville as the unbeaten Lions took on 6-2 West Frankfurt. Redbirds led 6-3 in the second until Tony Brown. Hey, cameraman, find Tony Brown. Oh, wait a minute, that was me with the camera. Tony Brown diving into the end zone and showing the diamond some props there. And it was 10-6 Carterville at the half. Stayed that way. Now, late in the third, Brown looking to add to it, but... His counterpart, Matt Brown, is there for the interception. And the Redbirds were in business. Now to the fourth. We can tell that because they switched ends. It's Matt Brown taking it 33 yards all the way down to the one. That set up his own touchdown, cutting it to 13-12. The extra point was no good. Now, under four minutes to play, Frankfurt fourth and short. But the Lions defense is up to the task. They would tack on. The insurance touchdown and the Lions take care of West Frankfurt. Your final 21-18. I'll teach you how to shoot tomorrow, Darren. <laughs> Anna Jonesboro going for a perfect 9-0 regular season, taking on Benton first quarter. Benton keeps it on the ground with big Gavin Nolan rumbling here. Then it's AJ takes over their first possession. It's Jake Peekard with the catch. A couple moves. And he's going to go 60 yards for the touchdown. 7 0 Wildcats. Benton deep in their own territory. And it looks like they're going to mess up this exchange right about there. AJ falls on it on the two, and they're in business. 14 0 Cats after this touchdown. Benton again struggling on offense here, trying to punt, but it is going to be caught. 50 yards later, it's a touchdown for the Wildcats, and they roll tonight, wrapping up a perfect regular season, beating Benton 49 to nine. Well, this is a special weekend for DeCoin Athletics. The school has started an Athletic Hall of Fame. The inaugural class will be inducted tomorrow night. The class includes the individuals you see on your screen, three plus three coaches and two teams. Galen Davis is the only living member of the first class. Through the years, Davis has been the source for DeCoin Indians high school sports history, spending countless hours researching teams that date back to the late 1900s, or the 1800s rather. Hall of Fame committee chair Jeremy Cornette says it's only fitting that the hall should be named in Davis's honor. We wanted to make sure that the people that got in stood their accomplishments to the test of time. Um, the people that we did induct, what they did then, would still stand out now. Word failed me. I just couldn't believe that uh, this was happening to me. I was preparing others for that, but uh, on myself, I had no idea that this would eventually happen. The induction ceremony and dinner will be tomorrow night. The Indians trying to make those Hall of Famers proud tonight with a win over Murfreesboro and Ducoin having their way with the Red Devils. Big run there by the Indians. Then another big run. This one going to be going into the end end zone for the touchdown. And Ducoin rolls big, 48-8 over Murphy. Our final prep visual stop, Carbondale. The Terriers closing out their season with a visit from Harrisburg, tied at 14. Jeff Lussman fakes the handoff. Ken Perkoff juggles the ball, comes up with it, and scores. But the Bulldogs, Christian Cummins, will drop back. He can't find anyone. He'll be brought down by a host of terriers. But this one, defense optional, though. Carbondale loses. Harrisburg takes it 53 to 49. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night with all your playoff pairings. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.